Hey, what's up, Cancer? Thanks so much for checking out my channel here, Reflexive Moon Tarot. My name is Sarah, and we are doing your reading for the full moon happening in Aquarius. So lots of airy Aquarian vibes that we can pick up on and allow us to manifest and practice our authentic... I don't know if you heard that. My cat just fell. You okay? She honestly probably fell in the tub, that weirdo. <laughs> Anyways, bygones. Um, so this is about being your authentic self in whatever is coming up for you. Um, it's important to also be aware of your feelings and be prepared to move on from them. That is the gift and strength of Aquarian energy. It's that mindset to process. Um, it's basically emotional intelligence. The type of emotional intelligence that you would find with the Queen and King of Swords. Aquarian energy is also about sustainability. It's about service. When you think about the water bearer giving everybody what they need, everyone gets to have a sip. You know what I mean? There's enough for everybody to go around. So sustainability and being of service. That's something that you may want to either acknowledge if you already do that or incorporate into your, you know, personal circle if you're already doing that in your professional sphere and vice versa in your professional sphere if you're already doing that in your personal circle. So finding balance. So we're going to start with some oracle. We're going to do tarot spread and then conclude with affirmations. All right. So we have a new moon in Pisces. That may be a significant time for you. Now might be the time for you to meditate and contemplate. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that little bird meme. I have to contemplate trying to go into the uh, into the pool. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> so cute. Okay. So what is the deal for cancers for this new moon, sorry, full moon in Aquarius? The death card has been coming through for, this is the third time it's come through. Hi, you okay? You just knocking stuff over in the tub? My cat, she's here. She's so cute. All right, so the death card with the nine of cups. So something is coming to an end it's going to bring forth a new beginning that, you know, deserves to be celebrated, that is an achievement, or at least it's going to give you the feeling of an achievement, of being successful, of being full of life and energy, full of love. And then we have the emperor overlooking the situation. So you may have created a new system or the universe is presenting you with a new system that is effective, that you are able to manage effectively and even um, with ease, perhaps. It's like you have the tools the universe has given you the tools that you need to 
succeed and to lead as well. Lead slash manage, you know. Leaders often have like a, an entourage of people who manage things. The emperor is somebody who manages the things in a leadership role. So when you think about, say, for example, um, you know, a mayor or an MP or uh, what are they in the United States? <laughs> uh, senator. <laughs> Jeez. State senator. That type of that type of energy. Now, interestingly, you're struggling to acknowledge your achievements on some level, Cancer. Okay? That's that's no good. It's not terrible. There's worse things, but it would be really great if you could acknowledge the fact that you deserve to be celebrated. There's going to be a new change and I mean, it might be scary for you, but hmm. This could also mean that you're feeling like you're not being acknowledged for what you've done. Maybe you deserve to be acknowledged. I, I feel like, yes, you most likely do deserve to be acknowledged. Or this change has left you feeling like you have not been cited for work that you did. Acknowledged. It's, it's like the same thing. Like, you know, the credits roll after the movie and your name isn't on there. That's messed up. You have star-like qualities. You are the star of the show. You, you know, this Aquarian moon has, is like just a perfect time, actually. You know, you've come through some type of change. You're within, you're in the middle of a change or you're like you've overcome something or something has changed for you. And, um... You're moving from a place where you already were very balanced, like your balance of give and take is without parallel, like boundless energy and hope and and feeling like you almost like you could take on the world or like you can really create a difference even. Make a difference. And yeah. <laughs> Someone's going to come through for you. This could be like a new love interest. This could be somebody that you're already with who is, you know, maybe you're seeing um, as amazing that, that you just need to realize they are a reflection of you. This could also, I feel like it's you, you know, um, just like taking up the space that you deserve to run the show, to be present to the needs of others, to create a warm and welcoming atmosphere that helps or that allows everybody that passes through to feel valid, emotionally validated. And, you know, you're you're bossing up. And it's that's pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. The King of Cups has this like metrosexual vibe, so very very chic, very suave in in a lot of ways. So if you don't recognize about that that about yourself, you really, really need to. Like if you are versatile in any way, shape, or form, even if you don't meet the cookie cutter standard of what that looks like, I think you just need to own up whatever it is for you. Cause you're probably trailblazing what what versatility, what um What's the word I'm looking for? It's just like, it's like being in two different worlds and be like being able to navigate through different worlds and doing it successfully. It's like the type of person who can schmooze and mingle with like big wigs in power and then also be down to earth and of service or, you know, just super humble and able to have conversations with the people that don't normally get heard. That is the essence of the King of Cups. That's the type of king that is willing to do that. 
the King of Pentacles is also very much in that type of mindset. Um, the Ace of Pentacles we have in your attitude. So it's very, it's very powerful. Your attitude is very, very powerful. I think you underestimate yourself a great deal, Cancer. Now, you have the power to hold abundance in the palm of your hand. Maybe you're responsible for like a large budget budget or, you know, you're into like, I mean, I'm, I'm going to pull this out from nowhere, like urban planning with the emperor. Um, it, like, it doesn't really matter what it is that you do either way. Like you have a lot, you probably have like a lot of administrative power maybe um, because this is a pentacle. And we have the emperor here too, because we think about like bureaucratic things or even like large corporate things, big banking things, uh, systems, not things, but systems. <laughs> uh, there's some type of loss though. So your, your attitude, like you understand that you hold a great deal of power, a great deal of energy, that you're also very grounded. You have the capacity to stay grounded. Yeah, I, I just think I just think that it's very down to earth. That is your attitude. That's the essence of your attitude. It, it doesn't matter what it is that you're doing. If you're like, you know, on the ground serving other like whatever your job is. You know, endless possibilities. Whatever your job is, your approach, your attitude towards life is very down to earth and humble. And it's powerful to have that approach. Very, very powerful. Do not underestimate the power of humility. And I'm talking like real humility. Page of Wands. So there are some ideas that you may have. Um, people may think that your ideas are a little too fresh and people may think that you are a bit of a novice when it comes to your goals and what it is that you want to do in life. Now, that's just what people think. You know, this could, this energy could also be influencing your environment as well. And, you know, to have that young and fresh spot where you are learning how to grow learning how to manifest that's also a gift because when you're in that spot where you are a novice or like you know anything done on a novice level like there is nothing but a big future ahead for that sort of thing now it's important to be realistic about what your limitations are I think. And even to expand your limitations, I'm getting like four of pentacles type of energy. Knowing that there's a place beyond a certain level of financial, like income bracket, health, like going, going beyond upping your goals on some level. I, I would say that, you know, the universe is telling you that you have a big future. You're still young even. There is something though that you fear. And that is that you will, you know, I, I would say that's, you know, not having a legacy. It could be even abject poverty. Any form of poverty, any form of lack. You Like this lack mindset could be the reason why you don't acknowledge your skill set and you know sell yourself better you know the page of wands can also give their energy away too much right like they have an endless amount of energy but when you talk to, if you talk too much about what your plans are, as opposed to focusing your energy on, you know, staying in the moment with your plans and actualizing them, it can, it can take away 
it can take away. And I, I would say also it has to do with being indecisive. You could also have a fear of success. That is, you know, an interesting dynamic. It's a remarkable dynamic to, you know, be subjected to for whatever reasons that you were, you know, nature versus nurture kind of reasons. I, I would say that it's definitely nurturing. Somebody along the lines struggled to teach you how to stay focused or how to... Just be, just acknowledge and accept what it is that you are, what, what your gifts are. But either way, like, you're gonna, you're making decisions and whatever it is that you're making, like, whatever focus you place your attention on, <coughs> whatever new project you got going on, you're in the right direction. You know, it's basically all up from here. And taking the plunge and trying something new, doing as long as as long as you know that it is a continuation or for the purpose of, you know, what has been done for you up until this point, like what ancestors have accomplished or achieved, not even accomplished or achieved, just like existed for the purpose of us being here now. It's all a part of the plan. That's the beauty of the fool. It's it's a very powerful card. And whether or not you decide to listen to this inner voice, this warning, this danger Will Robinson voice and hold back, sometimes it's safe to do that, to take a minute and contemplate, right? We have the contemplation card. Oh, no, I was thinking of that. Yeah, meditate and contemplate, right? Sometimes it's okay to do that for a minute. But then eventually you need to, like, decide, like, am I going to test out this air and take the plunge? Am I going to force myself to adjust to this new atmosphere? And it's going to be unknown reactions that you're dealing with, unknown consequences, Things that you'll be uncovering, discovering. And it is, it's a journey. It's all part of the journey. So the journey that is staying put. It's about staying put, I think. Staying put where you are for a little while. Maybe you've been thinking about moving or maybe you, you do need to move and you don't want to. And like the movement doesn't mean that you have to move physically from your home or wherever you are. It, like it could be a new job, but it could be it could be moving. You never know. So what does that look like for you, Cancer? How terrible would it be if you had to move? New jobs, new home, new something. Just changing the situation. And doing it for the purpose of taking responsibility for yourself and those who you are responsible for. And, you know, you're going to either receive a message from an individual. And, you know, it may be like the kind of message that feels like rainbows and skittles and time to take flight. Engage, right? But it also can be just like having somebody that wants to learn from you you know maybe you need to focus on who it is that you can help cultivate their mind and it, it looks like it looks like there's going to be some type of breach of contract I, I would pay attention to contracts and making sure that you're taken care of in that way someone may breach a contract with you and it may not be good times or maybe you'll have to like dip out of a contract that you really feel like you thought was for you but no that wasn't what you're into i would definitely say that you know when it comes to contracts if we're if we're going to link these two this basically means that you need to make sure bare minimum you are asking for 
the top tier like level of compensation and making sure that you get it in paper on paper that that is what it is that you are going to receive there's also a, a you know this also is an indication that somebody who you really was like you know who was who is really or has been really an esteemed mentor even like spiritual advisor is not who you thought they were like they don't have their house in order and it is not hot but either way whatever the truth is Whatever the truth of the situation is, you know, there's always going to be that unknown. There's always going to be that part that we don't see. You know, there's always going to be that invisible energy that influences us. And just make sure that you're allowing your emotions to fluctuate and, and know that sometimes you don't, we don't always understand the reason why we feel the way that we do. Because it could be... You know, the pressure in the atmosphere, right? So, feeling like you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, or just like not in alignment with what your calling is, or this, this, um, this person who was supposed to have it all laid out, you know, this person that you had an agreement with has breached their contract and it has set you off course. I mean, I feel like, I feel like whatever this contract is, like you really just need to be careful and make sure that you're not signing up for something that you know is going to end up not working out and you being at a loss especially an emotional loss. Like you may have a lot of, emo you may have some emotional labor or, or it will leave you feeling emotionally drained at best. So what are you signing up for? And is the amount of money worth it? You need to make sure that, you know, all the things are taken care of and that you have the time and space that you need to do whatever self-care that you need. So, Know your needs and state them before you sign up for anything. And you will, you'll be like emotionally set. You'll be fulfilled. And you totally have the power. Totally have the power to draw a line in the sand and name your price. Okay. All right. I'm going to do some affirmations now, Cancer. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I love this. All right. This is totally relevant. Your growth scares people who don't want to change. Are you getting shit from people you think should be cheering you on? If you thought of them as scared people instead of giant assholes, you would be more compassionate with them. Or at least let their current asshole-ishness slide for now. Compassion. It tastes nice and minty fresh, doesn't it? I mean, I, I don't know if compassion tastes minty fresh, but it certainly tastes sweet on some level, I imagine. All right. Ooh, work. We have the three of coins. So, skill and networking, skill development and networking, and all the things about getting the work done. Let's, let's get into this. Repeat after me if you wish. I am focus, the sifting and shifting of priorities that occurs in the initial stages of a project. I am tenacity, I am committed to seeing this project through. I am sustained energy. I work patiently and steadily to realize my ideas. 
I am cooperation. I recognize the value of working with others towards a common goal. I am an artist, spirit, knowledge. Oh, I can't know. I am artist, spirit, knowledge. I am developing the skills I need to carry out my dreams. All right. Cancer, thank you so much for this opportunity to read for you. And if you like this, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to get notified. And if you know any other cancers, feel free to share with them. And I really appreciate you and we'll catch you next time. Take care and bye for now.